What's up guys? Uh, seeing as it's the beginning of the year, I thought it would be a great idea to talk to some prospective new students about how to survive the first month of film school. So this video is going to be five tips because I kind of went through this myself and it is a jungle out there. So hopefully you can find something in here. If you have any other questions, please feel free to get in touch with me. I'd be so happy to chat. These are film school relevant, but also any other art school, artsy fartsy place, sort of like fashion school or design school or I don't know, all the creative types that are out there. So if this helps you, let me know, get in touch. Let's talk about it. There's a fly. Anyway, so starting off with tip number one, this is something that kind of just needs to be addressed because it gets a little bit awkward and it's the film school hate. So I am going to do a separate video on film school versus experience. But if you've already taken the leap into film school, then let's talk about it. All right. So one of the first tips for surviving film school is understanding why you decided to go to film school instead of going for experience. Or let's say you're fresh out of school or just managed to save up enough to go to film school and pay for it. It doesn't really matter. The point is you're here now. So there's going to be a lot of people that say Ugh, film school's stupid. You should just be on set. <laughs> you should be doing that instead of getting your degree in it. Uh, film isn't the kind of thing that they can teach you in textbooks. And I think there's a there's a part of that that's true. Sure. But I think a big part of that for me and my experience, for example, is I came from a tiny town where when I finished school, I had no idea you could make money doing something like filmmaking. Um, I studied journalism right after I finished school because to me that was just the closest degree I could get to to storytelling and to working within media. But I interned in a newsroom, absolutely hated it. It just was too stiff for me. It wasn't really want what I wanted to do. And instead went and worked in a bar, right? So the reason I'm giving you the background of this is I eventually found this university online and they did film school and I had to move to a big city close by to me to pursue film school. And when I got to film school, I had never learned about a shot list or what a director does. I was under the impression that the only people on set were directors and actors. You know, I didn't know there was such a thing as a cinematographer or a production designer or, you know, that different types of actors, there's theater, there's voiceover acting, there's screen acting, there's all sorts of, you know, um, and at my film school, we had animation, we had graphic, de oh, not graphic design, visual effects and editing and motion graphics and all of these kinds of things. So I, I had no idea that these things existed. So I think there's a there's a place to getting a basic education. I think the misunderstanding is that you're going to go to film school and once you walk out of film school, you are just going to be this know-it-all kind of filmmaker. But I kind of implore you to look at film school as a crash course in the basics. Um, I think this is a misconception with all degrees in general. And I'm not really sure if this comes from people who don't have degrees and it's their opinion about them or who do have a degree and feel like they maybe didn't get what they want but a degree isn't sort of the end of your journey it's very much the beginning of your journey um, so it's kind of like saying hey you've got the basics down you are qualified now to get onto a set and actually know what they're talking about i think some people come from a family in which filmmaking is a thing or they live in a big city where they're used to seeing streets being closed down and things being filmed, adverts, films, TV, t television, commercials, those kinds of things. So in that scenario, do I think you could just go and get work experience? Absolutely. I don't think getting a degree is the be all and end all of your journey and your life and your education. But I think if you have signed up to go and do a degree, in filmmaking, there is so much that you can benefit from that. I think especially networking, as I said, from my experience, I moved to a completely new city and without actually going to film school, I wouldn't have gotten half the jobs and opportunities that I have to this day <laughs> that I literally use networking to this day because of film school. So I think the biggest lesson that I found going to film school was actually networking. But as I said, that's technically a separate video. What I do want to let you know is just because there's people out there that are doubting that you're doing a degree in whatever, to be honest, or that are saying that 
Film school or filmmaking is a practical thing. You should just get out there and make films. We're not all in a position where that's just something we can do. And if you feel like you just need the safety net of a degree in that, what the fuck is the difference between doing a degree in filmmaking versus doing a degree in fashion design or doing a degree in marketing. All of these things are things that you can learn to do practically 100%. But if you've chosen to go and study this field, it's just a different kind of way, you know, all roads lead to Rome kind of a thing. So tip number one, don't let the hate get to you. Film school is valid. Your degree is valid. Um, and even if you go through the whole degree process and decide to do something else or end up doing a different industry or field. Ver Sorry, it's the bugger fly. Even if you end up doing something different to studying a filmmaking degree, no part of education is ever gonna be a bad thing for you. Um, maybe a different way to phrase that is, education is always gonna be beneficial to you. So anything you decide to go and study, even if what you've learned out of that is that you fucking hate <laughs> what you've studied, case in point, ask me how I know, then you have learned something out of that and that has been beneficial. So don't let the film school hate get to you. Okay, so tip number two for surviving film school is everyone around you is shivering themselves. Um, maybe a more PC way to say it is, everyone around you is scared, dude. Um, I'm not just talking about going to a university because that is scary. Imposter syndrome is so real, especially in the creative industry. Um, although there's things that they mark you by, your sort of creative input and whatever can't be judged. <laughs> Trust me, it can. <laughs> Film school will teach you that it can, actually. <laughs> but uh, what I mean is it, it's very scary for multiple reasons. You're scared because it's a new experience. You've maybe never been to university before. You don't know how it works. Your whole school career, people are telling you that no one gives a shit about you in university and no one cares if you do this or shows up or this or that. But on top of that, film school might be a completely new world to you. So there's new gear you work with, new equipment, cameras, memory cards, microphones, stage makeups, lights, uh, how to call a shot, how to break down a script, how to interpret color, uh, non-verbal psychology. So that's a whole thing on its own. Then there's software that's completely new. Um, I know in our film school, we were completely Apple and Mac. Before I went to film school, I never worked on a MacBook in my life before. So just opening up the home menu and finding documents was weird and difficult to me. Um, on top of that, we used the Adobe suite. So things like Premiere Pro are weird now. Uh, I, I didn't do sound, but there's the whole sound suite and studio. There's recording studios. There's all sorts of protocols that are in film school that are completely new to you. There's new people. There's a crazy fashion sense. It's a bunch of creatives. It's almost like all the black sheep of every single school got together in a film school university environment and you almost like are competing now to be the coolest. Like there's people who have moved out of their houses for the first time. There's people who studied other things and then finally realized their dreams. There's a lot of international students as well. So that's quite different. There's new accents, new cultures, and that's just part of your university experience. Um, I think film school especially is intimidating because there's a lot of pressure from Hollywood um, in terms of like Hollywood glorifies itself and there's competitiveness and there's only so much space for everyone to shine, which is not true. There's a space for all of us. Again, separate video. Um, and in South Africa, especially, I mean, the, the industry is like that big. The country is about that big. So the industry is about that big. And yeah, it, it is scary. And if you like me come from a place where this just was never talked about and suddenly there's you know, 200 students with you in an auditorium, uh, it, it kind of just dawns on you and you're scared. And you might be living in student accommodation for the first time and you might have a weird new haircut or you just got your first tattoo or your first piercing and like you're feeling self-conscious and nervous and you have no idea what everyone's talking about around you. And some people see miles ahead of you and other people seem like they have no idea what they're doing and like, you don't know where to gauge yourself. You're nervous about making friends. You're nervous about fitting in in the culture. You're not sure which direction you want to specialize in. That's okay. I promise you, everyone around you is feeling that way. The most confident dude in that hall or gal is feeling nervous and doesn't know where to put themselves. And they're just as excited, nervous, and scared to meet you and to start the university 
journey as with you all and i know that sounds cheesy like picture the audience naked but legitimately we're all nervous and scared we're all creatives we're all trying to do our best in this industry and you have to be quite vulnerable to share your creativity with people so trust me tip number two everyone is scared nervous intimidated excited so just ease into that let those feelings fill you up feel your feelings but don't let them overwhelm you and take away from what your experience should be in film school we all feel this way so just enjoy it all right my tip number three is going to be a little bit unconventional but i think if you're here watching this video unconventional is sort of what you're subscribing to this channel for so tip number three is ma'am excuse me okay so tip number three is don't get sucked into the overly woke culture yeah it's a big one so don't misunderstand me either i am the neighborhood feminist killjoy all right so it's not that i'm saying don't be woke or don't broaden your horizons and learn about things that you might not know about but what I do want to warn you about especially under the creatives and in big city centers is overly woke culture um, so woke culture I think there's a place for it I think again like university is a space where you get to discuss different ideas concepts that you might not be familiar with and I definitely challenge you to go out there and discover new things about your worldview and do things that make you uncomfortable but what I mean by this is overly woke culture can sometimes be detrimental to your creative journey and again you need to understand that freedom of expression doesn't give you the right to offend people and it's like a side caveat that I want to just discuss there's freedom of expression doesn't mean oh yeah you know i have this biased opinion about race or sexuality or gender identity and it's my freedom of expression i am allowed to offend people no like you're allowed to have an opinion but you are still responsible for how you treat people around you and you're still responsible for not hurting or harming those around you and as much as you're allowed to have an opinion which should be informed and educated you're not allowed to just go around offending people and being blatantly ist you know racist sexist da, 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 da. so I don't want you to misunderstand what I'm saying now when I say, when I talk about woke culture, I'm not saying just go out of your way to be offensive, but what I am saying is try and not let everyone's opinions about what is right and what is wrong and the correct thing to do and the PC term and the et cetera, et cetera, wokeness stop you from developing your art. Does that make sense? Like, some people get so caught up in woke culture that they just kind of freeze and do nothing about it because they're scared to phrase something incorrectly or approach someone and misgender them or get their pronouns incorrect or say something offensive. So I, I guess what I'm trying to say is it's your responsibility to educate yourself. But in that education, it shouldn't be to a point where you're kind of just freezing and scared. And also, despite anything you do in the creative industry, you're gonna offend people. I promise you, it doesn't matter what you do, you will be offending people. And again, I'm not saying just go out there and like, don't give up attitude. What I am saying is try and educate yourself as far as possible, but trust your gut and trust your instinct and don't stop telling stories because of overly woke culture. Because if we were all just woke and everyone <laughs> there's spectrums i think is what i'm trying to say um i was going to use the example of like if everyone just was non-binary and didn't eat meat but like that doesn't sound like the most terrible world <laughs> there's space for all of us and all of our stories so please continue on that respectfully and responsibly don't let overly woke culture get to you tip number three tip number four is i just want to bring it back to a bit more of a technical department after such an emotional riled up point number three um so my tip number four would be open yourself up to all departments uh, that's something in film school that you find so often uh you get people who are now motion graphic artists that went to film school thinking that they were going to become actors or you went people you have people that went to film school thought they were going to become scriptwriters and ended up becoming editors or you have people that 
never even knew about the sound department, completely did go into acting, sat in on one editing class and on our editors, colorists, all of these kinds of things. So that's another really cool thing about film school, especially in first year, how, I, how our kind of setup work was, in first year you could choose from eight subjects and then in second year you specialized, second and third year you specialized. So that's kind of how our degree was set up. So in that kind of space, I would say first year, go and sit in as many classes as you can. I sat in on an acting class. It was super funny. We got along so well with the actors afterwards, all went and had a beer at a local pub. It was great to like experience what they experienced, but it definitely also cemented the fact that I was flip-flopping of should I, shouldn't I, and I, I didn't want to. I'm glad I didn't. I ended up specializing in some more technical stuff. So that's just another thing that I want to open you up to. It's university, dude. Like, you don't know what you're going to enjoy or not enjoy if you're not going to go. So choose subjects that you think you gravitate towards and that you think you're strong in, but don't shy away from things that you think are completely out of your realm, especially in something creative like this. There might be a muscle that you've never flexed in your life before creatively that gets exercised in film school so throw yourself into that and just immerse yourself in every department i think camera department especially is something that i want to encourage people to do i specialize in camera department and i've always been interested in camera and photography and video and all of these kinds of things so i doubled up on a lot of my subjects but people are so nervous about camera department because there's a lot of jargon, there's a lot of technical speak, there's a lot of hardware that you work with, lenses, camera bodies, SD cards, filters, lens caps, tripods. I mean, the list could go on. I could just spew a bunch of words that literally don't make sense because when I started in the camera department, that's how it went. We also did gaffing and lighting and freaking sparking and video village and all of these kinds of things in the camera department. So a lot of people get nervous about that, but I promise you it's not as difficult as it seems, or maybe it is to you, but you won't know until you try. So don't be intimidated by that. It was, it was Alfred Hitchcock that said, before you start directing, you should do two years of film school in the camera department because understanding the camera is like the basics of understanding video. And when I say that, there's another cool, interesting, funny, hilarious debate in film school where every department thinks that they're the most important. You know, without the writer, you couldn't make a movie. Without the camera department, you couldn't make a movie. Without the actor, you couldn't make a movie. It's a team sport, guys, really, it's a team sport. Um, but the cool thing about understanding the camera is understanding how your production design reflects on, on stage and how your makeup's going to look and understanding why a character moves this way and how blocking works. So like a camera department basic education is just a really cool way of understanding how things are going to be portrayed on the screen, whether that's filmmaking or marketing or content creating, it doesn't really matter. So. That's just a really fun way, a fun basic thing of understanding. So in, in fact, like you should just go and sit in on a couple of camera classes or camera department classes and get to know your cines, even though, again, in my experience, they were the biggest dick energy people around. <laughs> oh, the sweet irony when I diss the cine department and my light goes out. <laughs> Anyways, my point is go out and try is go out and try all departments and expose yourself to some stuff that you wouldn't think you would do. I mean, there's no harm in it. You're there now anyway. You only have your student experience once, dude. And uh, you should capitalize on it because afterwards it's basically just pain and suffering until you die. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So yeah, that's my number four tip. Expose yourself to all departments. Okay, and then the final tip that I... The final tip that I want to leave you guys with is something that I kind of regret from film school and something that I wish someone kind of told me and I don't want to be preachy big sister to you guys but genuinely this is something that looking back on film school I wish I just grasped with both hands and that's absolutely just run with it right? Run with your creativity, run with the way you want to market your film, run with your ideas, run with the makeup, run with the dialogue, run with the acting and the lighting and the costume and the everything. I mean, the first example that comes to mind is part of our sort of journey as well, part of our education, part of our course, is we had to market our own films and we would also have assembly and kind of 
uh, we had a subject that we all had to take as a film school together and a lot of times the senior students used to market their films to us then because we had film festivals and obviously you're trying to drum up interest in your film and we've had people run in on the side of the door and pretend like act out a scene from the movie and get shot you know and we've had flash mobs during lectures get up and dance and like to promote the film uh for example like a, like one real thing that happened with the real film not actually a production in film school was a truck that drove around cape town that was see-through and there were people doing surgery in the back if i remember correctly and it was like a promo for a thriller horror i don't know medical something so cool dude and i remember for one of our films that we did we literally went dumpster diving for materials because we couldn't afford it back then and that's just an extra expense in film school and we found felt and we found old chicken wire and we did all sorts of cool things with it and like you have all these cool ideas you're so creatively stimulated during film school that you just kind of want to do this visual effects thing and do this makeup thing and do this acting thing and then you get on set and other people aren't necessarily performing at that level and I don't mean as good as you I just mean as dramatically as you or in that direction or in this direction and that sometimes makes you feel a little self-conscious or makes you feel like oh maybe I should turn it back or like everyone's going right I was gonna go left go left dude run left go left your whole life just go in circles just just make your life a circle if that's what it means <laughs> Because just, just run with film school. Put the weird makeup on, like make all your characters wear red, thrift stuff, you know, write the weird character, use the weird music, edit in the weird way. Like don't get self-conscious at the last minute because we know it's all in your head. And the whole cool thing about film school is it's an incubator. And like, you can make mistakes there. You can do experimental things there. Um, I, I think one of the biggest lessons you learn is being a team player. So again, like it doesn't just mean be rude and be bossy and get your way. I think you learn how to communicate in a team there and you learn how to, I think you learn how to communicate your ideas. That's the biggest thing about film school really for me is if I say paint the wall pink, this person might think ballet pink. This pe person might think fuchsia pink. This person might see the wall as the ceiling, the wall, and the floor you know this person might think that's a wall but that's a, co a cornice or whatever so it's interesting how you learn to communicate your ideas in film school i think that's the biggest lesson that i've learned is if i say character walks in stage left uh with baggy jeans and red t-shirt what kind of red t-shirt is it a short sleeve t-shirt is it a v-neck t-shirt so again run with your ideas describe them descriptively get your team on board get everyone convinced do your research support things L watch music videos watch films go to art installations meet people and just take everything from around you and just cram it into your art dude Film school is the exact place you should be doing that because you learn so much. And like, I have a whole nother video I'd like to do on just film school tips and surviving three or four years that you do do film school. But this is just the first month. And in the first month, if you think, let's try and lay someone down on the bed flat, comb their hair out, gel it into a freaking mohawk, and then like glue gemstones onto it, then do it, dude. Seriously, do it. It's a good habit to start as early as possible and do it in a team but you know do it research it research good ways to do it research cheap ways to do it but do it do not hold back for everyone for anyone <laughs> just run just run 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 forest run all right guys so that kind of wraps up my five tips dude this is just to survive the first month i will do a video to survive the first second and third and fourth year if you guys are interested let me know comment down below i want you guys to reach out please talk to me i am here to answer questions uh, but just to recap our five tips would be number one don't mind the film school hate dude you're here already okay just do it it's okay there's many many roads to get to where you want to go don't mind the hate number two would be everyone around you is scared so fake it till you make it uh let's laugh about it have a drink just chill it's okay don't have a drink if you don't drink it's fine my point is we're all scared just fake it till you make it Okay, number three is don't get weighed down by overly woke culture. There's a place to be educated, but these kinds of things can put you into freeze mode. So just be aware of that, you know, follow your gut, do things responsibly and respectfully, but do things, right? Number four, get involved in as many departments as you can get involved in. And number five, just run, just go for it, run, 
do as much as you can. Like, be as creative, you know, let your little creative wings flap and fly and strengthen for when you join us in the industry one day. Um, that's going to be all for this video. If you guys want to see more of this kind of content, let me know. I really do want to talk about these kinds of things. You can reach out on my Instagram and my socials. That will be down below as per usual. And I also just want to say good luck and don't get discouraged. Uh, if this is something that's for you, you'll hear a lot of pressure coming from your first year of film school. Um, people don't make it, people drop out. Even if you do finish your degree, the industry is tiny, but there is space for everyone. And sometimes you need to make space for yourself and that's fine too. So best of luck, take pictures. You're gonna look back at this time with the fondest memories and just enjoy it, dude. I am excited for you and I hope you have the best time and congratulations. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see you guys in the industry soon. Thank you.